Hello and welcome to one of these things. I used to do this with Azrael, but he's not here right now. So instead, we have my other friend. Yeah, hi. I'm Exlacnedia, and I'm a poor stand-in for Azrael, pretty much. Uh, I don't know if I'll say you're a poor stand-in. Uh, we generally just... We're not exactly pros either, as uh, you can see we're playing on hard. Uh, generally, me and Azrael plays on hard as well. Mostly because the frame rate can't handle it. So this re this week's bullshit consists of nukes that are randomly launched, uh, nukes that uh, spawn when you kill an Ibrid, and also units explode when they die. I'm guessing it's going to be less than the fire because uh, nukes, yes, they're annoying, but they don't exactly like it's only the Ibrid spawning the nukes. It's not every single unit, so. There's going to be less particles. Uh, we actually did try to do this last week, except because of how every unit that dies spawns broodlings and shit. I just couldn't, uh, like, I could not keep up the frames. The, the fire lasts for way too long, and they just, they just ground my, uh, ground my frame rate to uh, to us. Well, as much as when the, the the units spawn at the end, in the very first attack. So I don't think anyone will want to see that. If you want to see two frames, then you, you go load up a picture. But yeah, so that's what's going to be happening right now. Uh, I actually don't understand why nukes are in this game. Because all it does, in my opinion, is it forces you to drop whatever the hell you're doing and just look for the tiny red dot. I mean, yes, it's, it's a lot better than in Brood War. But it's still, it's, like, the, 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 if you remember the Brood War tiny dot, it was a lot harder to spot than this tiny dot. So yes, they did fix this a little bit, but I still don't see what purpose it serves for the game. Like, what, what exactly does it add to the game? But, you know, Blizzard's been putting in some, some work getting into shitty updates. A good example is these rocks blocking the gas geyser, because, you know, you gotta make your game as trashy as possible, even in the co-op. Am I right? Indeed. <sighs> so in terms of this week's mutation, I think it's it's pretty easy compared to the other bullshit we have to deal with. Number one, because of this mission itself, the Void Trashers, it's it's very it, it's one of the easiest that I would consider. This one and also Rifts of Core Hall, that's basically the easiest missions I consider to that we have on, on in terms of co-op. Also, this one doesn't include something that directly harms your your macro. It doesn't have something that. Oh, there's a nuke. There's the first nuke. Oh, okay, so maybe if these land on my base, then of course it always lands on your base. It might as well be always uh, targeting your workers, but the first one didn't target my workers. But yeah, it doesn't have something like the chain of ascension where you have to babysit some some assholes. Uh, it doesn't have something like the the lock and load where you have to sort of, uh, I don't know, order around the other person, which might not be as good as you. It doesn't have any of that bullshit, so in my opinion, I think that's something that makes this, this mission a lot easier. We'll see. We'll see. And I think Protoss is actually a really, really good choice here, or at least Artanis. I'm not exactly familiar with the other commanders, but Artanis has that whatever Guardian Shield or whatever it's called. It does increase your. It, it does. It's basically one invulnerability thing, and it'll protect your units from a nuke, which you know if you're not paying attention because the shit doesn't actually trigger your bases under attack alert, or your units are under attack alert. So it, it's, it's actually really good that you have that. I'll say uh, Kerrigan also mandatory on all missions because of, you know, Boba Kerrigan. She's going to tear apart everything. Brace yourselves. So I think we actually get the best combination that we can possibly get here. So first attack, Kerrigan, I'm not sure if she'll be ready on this map. But it's been a while since I played co-op. It's actually been a while since I played this game. And we are around 25 seconds in. No, we will not be ready. Let's go ahead and get our regen up. Oh, Zerglings. What do say about Zerglings? Oh yeah, it's that one. Um, 
Okay, so the explosions are delayed. I do remember that one explosion is very, very... Uh, that one explosion is very, very... Like, particle heavy. So we might have frame issues. We'll see. What is it already? Now, from the first attack, Zerglings, we can tell that they're not the Roach heavy. So, they're probably going to have Scourges. And on top of Scourges, they will have... I think it's Ravagers, or... I forgot if this is the one that gives Ravagers, or the other one. I know one of them, the Roaches one, or this one gives Ravagers. The Ravagers aren't really that annoying, it's the Missile Planes that are annoying. Another good thing is that this creep, uh, you might want to move that. Yeah, this creep actually, I think it's all creep gives me, gives me that attack speed bonus. Not sure. I also can't tell where the boundary on this shit is. So I have absolutely no idea when where the nuke is actually coming down. No time like the present. Uh, you can, you can back off if you want. I'm just basically here to clear off something. Because Kerrigan's regen is ridiculous. Oops. So Kerrigan actually died there. Don't know if from what. Potentially from the nuke. No time like the present. Don't exactly want to be there. Uh, that's one circling. See, I'll get this. 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 Explain yourself. While I do have the Kerrigan regen, this is still taking a long time to heal. Not exactly sure why. This seems like... Well, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother with the creep, because... It'll just get nuked. If I can find some safe spot, like my base, then I will creep that. But it seems really worthless to try and creep somewhere else. Explain yourself. Alright, we can get that upgrade. We'll see. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. Yeah, it's kind of bullshit. Although we do have the healing speed. Our allies are in combat. I don't even know if I want to waste a transfuse on her. You have my attention. Yeah, a transfuse is not really that useful. We require more power allies are in combat. So, so far the frame seems to be doing well. Well, Ibris just all of a sudden got a lot harder to kill. there any more? No, at least they reduce the number of hybrids. Uh, okay, 
is done. I'll show this cavern on the way. It's nice that Kerrigan is more than competent in dealing with this. Well, any 1v1, basically. Okay, so I think I completely filled up my supply. So now all I have to worry about are units. I'll get ultra list cup race. I tend to pull as much off of of uh, units as I can. My worms as well, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you made them. Yes. No, I just I just recently made them. Okay. Standing on creep, I think. Is there actually a buff? No, there isn't. It doesn't show as a visible buff when we're on creep and getting more region. This thing almost hit my base, what the hell? Well, my base almost got nuked. Apparently I need to build it a little bit further away. Not sure if that's all the hybrids up there. Find out. Nope. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, that, that wasn't fun. Be an asshole, and that's I'm letting our expensive Protoss units die to the nukes, and I'm running that's my one sense. Kerrigan away. We have slain a void thrasher. Attack incoming. Get ready. The good thing they don't have any of those hybrids and attacks. a little bit of frames here and there, but I feel like it's my own fault. Uh, I'm the one that made all these links. I don't think it's the the, the thrashers. Or I don't, I don't think it's 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 the uh, explosion that's giving my frames. Uh, lowering my frames. Okay. Thank you. 
I think I'll just heal up at this point. I'll spam Ultralisks. And I'll spam Lings with the rest. Which are not exactly great for my frames. But right now our 200-200 supply. This drone served its purpose. What exactly does it say? Recently protected. Okay. I guess that's a negative debuff because it doesn't apply a buff. Make it quick. I'm pretty sure in the campaign they actually highlighted all these nukes. Right now they're just being a bunch of ass. And not highlighting these. Oh well. You have my attention. I've come this far. You know, I gotta hand it to Blizzard. At least they're consistent with this shit. Consistent trash. Okay, the Ultralisks are loaded. I'm trying to nuke Kerrigan. Um, that's hybrid. Kerrigan takes reduced damage from nukes, I think. Enemy forces detected. Prepare our defense. Again over there. You see. Taking some serious heat here. Void thrashers ain't letting up. Wait, they have roof lords? I have Broodlords in this attack. I almost feel like killing them is a bad idea because I can dash through them for shields. Or I can dash through the Broodlings for shields. And it helps against the Mutas. Oh well. So this is a problem. I'm actually full on supply right now. What I'm after are, are basically hybrids. Oh boy. Are there, are there any more hybrids? Um, there's that big one. Oh, I got one. Actually, there's a lot of these. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna spawn these. I think Harrigan died in all of that mess. Yep. See if our ultralists are gonna come back. So basically, with the Protoss, these ultralists are going to have three lives. They're gonna have one of the Protoss shields, one regen on themselves, both of which on uh, on cooldown. So that's actually pretty overpowered, in my opinion. But then again, this always is bullshit lowering my frames, so... I don't know. I guess for the last second we're gonna bring Kerrigan back. Hey, at least we don't have to clean up that bullshit now. That bullshit, I mean our base. Yeah, so uh, do you have anything to say about what we just did there? Our mission? Uh, what potentially could have gone better? Like other commander picks, uh, unit compositions, etc. Well... I think I, I think Zerg Protoss is probably the best. I, I mean, I don't see any better. 
Yeah. Man, you can see the frames from when, I, when my experience went up. It's. Yeah. Well, I, feel... I mean, at least they didn't like nuke our base, although it came pretty close. Like, if yeah, it, if I think they target they the actually... expansions. They don't target the. They don't target the the main base. Yeah, if, if they actually close to the, the main base, I would have been so pissed. Oh, if the, if they nuked the main base, we wouldn't be playing this. We'd just be <laughs> saying, "Fuck this mutation. We'll do it yeah. next week's." All right. Thanks for watching.